Hi, this is Joel from ADD Anonymous, and you know, it's another nanny rant, and I'm sorry if you're like, oh, I wanted to learn things about art and your art, and being a nanny is part of it. Without me being a nanny, I couldn't pay for anything, because I don't make enough money yet. Hopefully someday, but I need to work on stuff, probably over to winter and fall. But anyway, I'm just ticked off about people in the nanny world. They want your early education units. You need at least 12 to get a decent job usually. I have four. I'm trying to get back in school. Thankfully, that is taken care of. The government finally found my tax stuff. So I can send it to Danza and say, here you go. It was on my computer the entire time, but nope, you had to have the letterhead, didn't you? Literally the only difference it has the letterhead of the IRS on top of the paper. Really? Ugh. Anyway, that's taken care of. So during the winter session, I'm going to go back to school. I'm going to get my EC units. Okay. That's fine. Education's a good investment. Then they want CPR and first aid training. Okay. That makes sense for like a real emergency, I guess. Instant reaction time. 80 to $100. Trust line certification, $153. $250 maximum. Just to get into most people's houses. Not including EC units. EC units, that's more for like a preschool job. Not so much nanny, but they like them anyway. They think you learn something. Honestly, okay, you learn about the mentality and the different life stages and but you don't learn like things like basic things like you know if you are nannying for one child and they're sick you have to let the other family know or all this all this like convoluted political stuff and it's like okay this is stuff you learn while you're working as a preschool teacher this is not stuff you learn just by going to a class they're not going to teach you all the social dynamic stuff usually now they're teaching you about the mental development of a child, which is cool and useful. I mean, I took a class on it and I loved it. Anyway, so all this certification, but at the same time, yes, it's great to have it, but it's like you have access to the internet on this little device called a phone at any given time. Unless I'm alone in the woods with your children, totally isolated, and why would I be there in the first place? But it's like I can type in my iPhone how to treat a burn and it'll pop up within three seconds I know how to treat a burn you know how you treat a burn you put it under cold running water as soon as you can and you leave it there you leave it there for at least 20 minutes depending on how bad the burn is if it's so severe enough you call an ambulance and you take the child to the hospital because you don't want the burn to get infected if it's infected, that's awful. But the thing is, I can type that in my phone. And within three seconds, no one answer. The only thing that... Even CPR. Not even CPR. You don't even... Yeah, I, I can look all this stuff on the internet. And I just... Why do I need this training when we have the internet? I'm never going to be alone in the woods with your child. So just let it go. And then they don't want to pay you anything. I'm lucky where I get paid they, $14 an hour. Not bad. I could get paid more if I had the certifications. But you know, I'm going to go up to $16, $17 an hour. Not bad. Not, not bad at all. But some people, they want everything. And they only want to pay you $5 an hour. It's like, what plan are you on? For one thing, you're breaking federal and California state law. But you're just being a cheap ass. It's just like... What's wrong with you? I'm not 14. What if I, I mean, damn, my Starbucks coffee, if I didn't have the discount, it's like 505. And I'll never really understand why. If I go to a different Starbucks, why the cost is different? Sometimes it's like 495, other times 505. I'm like, why if it's the same drink? Maybe some baristas just don't bother typing it in because they're like, oh, she has a gold card. I don't know. I don't want to deal with that one button push. I don't know. Jiminy Crickets. You know? I try not to cuss on this. Because, eh, you know, I like to save. 
I like to save the words for really extreme situations, like getting hit by a car would be one. But, um, I don't know, that's my rant. I mean, that's really, that's all there is. And so, how are you? How are you doing? I'm doing okay. I mean, you know, I'm here. I am working on a birthday gift for a friend. I'm really happy about it. Um, it's still the ice cream truck one. It's just that I stayed up way too late over the weekend. Way too late. I stayed up until 4 a.m. one day after watching The Room, which everybody needs to see in a theater, and they all need to follow the leaders. There's some really awesome stuff in there. I got a few laughs from my cracks, but the ending, if you know how the ending is, and if you know the words to say, it is glorious. It is the most glorious thing. And damn. Not filmed in San Francisco, by the way. Oh, I bet half a movie is stock footage <laughs> of San Francisco. I want to time it one day and be like, oh, half this movie was stock footage. Wow, there's like really no substance to this and it's glorious. But if you just want the rundown of the hilarity, you can always just... um find Nostalgia Critics review on it. I mean, that's pretty much all there is, but if you go there, there's, like, other things that the audience says. And you throw spoons. You'll see why. You can ask why. You throw spoons. There's a reason. It's it's just insane. And footballs. And it's just amazing. And it, it's even better when it's a full house. It wasn't, but it was about half full, maybe. It was fun, though, and the, they do it every month. And I stayed up until 4 a.m. because me and Adam, my friend Adam, had to talk. We had to talk a lot. Yeah. So definitely see the room in a theater if there's one in your local area. I mean, I'm going to do a troll two-night here at my house sometime. Yeah, and then I went to Oktoberfest. I only had one beer, but I got the cutest, cutest. Birdhouse. It's a teapot into a birdhouse. It's for my grandmother. She'll see it soon enough. Because I, all my family's birthdays are in October. I mean, it's holy, holy shenanigans. What the hell happened? All of our relatives just decided to screw each other at the same time during different periods of time. But you know what I mean. It's like I me and my older sister are a week apart. You know, she's like 13 years older, but her birthdays are like a week. And my two of my grandmothers, on my mom and dad's side, they're born on the same day. I have my friend Adam's birthday, and my friend Chris's birthday. I have a lot of birthdays in the fall. It's like, ugh, it's a lot. So, yeah, you know, life is good. Life is good. Watch the room. It'll make you feel better about your life if you have a crappy one, I guess. And also it'll make you laugh because it's just hilarity. You can just yell anything you want and hopefully it sticks. Sometimes it sticks, sometimes it doesn't. There's one guy that didn't know how to do it very well. It's like, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! But it's okay. It's That's what you're supposed to do. So yeah, you know, there's just a little nanny rant and a little window into my life. Just for you. So, yeah, I'm going to let you go. You guys have a great day. Check me out. Somebody buy a painting. I need gas money. I'm in California. I need it. Okay, bye.